To enter information in the header of every page, follow the steps shown on the screen. I first open the Page Setup window. Second, I click the Header Footer tab. Third, I click Custom Header. Finally, I will enter the information that I want to see appear in the header. As you can see, we can display information on the left, center, and right sections of the header. I click the left section box and enter the company name, which is Builders Incorporated. In the center section box, I enter the report name, which is salaries. In the right section box, I will enter the current date and time. To do so, I click the right section box and enter the current date by clicking the insert date button. Then, I'll leave a blank space and I click the Insert Time button. I click OK to accept the changes. And click OK again to close the Page Setup window. As you can see, the header information has been inserted at the top of the page. I select the next page and see that the headers have been inserted in all pages. To enter information in the footer of every page, follow the steps shown on the screen. I first open the Page Setup window. Second, I click the Header Footer tab. Third, I click Custom Footer. Finally, I will enter the information that I want to see appear in the footer. As you can see, we can display information on the left, center, and right areas of the footer. I click the left section box and enter the file name by clicking the Insert File Name button. In the right section, I want to enter the number of the page followed by the total number of pages in the document. To do this, I click the right section and write page. Then I'll leave a blank space and I click the Insert Page Number button. Then I write of and leave a blank space. And finally, I click the Insert Number of Pages button. I click OK to accept the changes. And click OK again to close the Page Setup window. As you can see, the footer information has been inserted at the bottom of the page. The bottom right side informs us that we are looking at page 1 and that the document has two pages. I click the next page and see that the footer has been inserted in all pages. 
If you need to enter the path of the file instead of just the name, use the Insert File Path button instead of the Insert File Name button. To do this, I open the Custom Footer window. and delete the information entered in the left section. Then I click the Insert File Path button. And click OK. And click OK again. As you can see, the file path has been entered. However, it is too long and I would like to make the font of this text smaller. To customize the font of the header or footer, use the button Format Text. To do this, I open the Custom Footer window. and select the information entered in the left section. I click the end of the text and move the mouse to the left. As you can see, the text gets highlighted. Then I click the Format Text button. And from the font window, I select the color red. Then I select the font size 8. And I select italics. Finally, I click OK. and click OK again and click OK one last time. As you can see, the font of the file path has been modified.